themselves get more clusters. Now, in a piece of research called 99 Lives, it shows that, it, that we, as, we, we as individuals become brands. So Robbie Williams is a brand, if you like. Uh, you know, you, know, you can imagine what you want to do, whether you probably do anything actually to do with you. But there are other, other, other better people to the example. Tony Blair is a brand, okay? Tony Blair is not some hip hop street artist, okay? There's things that he would do, things that he wouldn't do, things that he shouldn't do. And in 99 Lives, it shows that I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a businessman, I play lots of sports, and then I am me, the stuff that I do, that I like to do, that I, I like to think that people think of and associate with me. So you get these different clusters in these different tribes. But you also get the vigilante consumer, who tends to dob people in quite often. So you take the director general of the BBC, for example, he's ended up paying a fairly heavy price through the power of social media, through the power of people using Twitter accounts, people maybe using the information rightly or incorrectly, whatever happens, other people come and fall back through the strength of social conversation and problems. So here we go, a load of tribes, um, people bonded together by attitude and aspiration, and some of the beliefs, and the most important thing is, is to avoid what marketers have avoided for a long time, this awful C word, a very strong, very powerful word that they've not liked to use before. It's that awful word called the consumer. So they've not really got into the consumer. They don't like to listen. They, they, they are very seller-centric. I have a lot of water. How much of my water would you like? Rather than saying, um, what is it that you need that I can provide you with? It might not be water at the time. It might be something entirely different. So you find that actually consumers control the media. And it's driven by content and community with conversation and collaboration. It's the four C's, which is different to the four P's. But it's actually what drives things. So I can buy, I could go and buy for you, by close of play, Four million pounds worth of TV spots, so you can be advertising like that. And you could say that Mars bars are brilliant. But societally, through content, communication, collaboration, through your through the C word, you can just say this is nonsense. It's not good for you. There's more sugar content in here, preservatives that you really shouldn't be taking, you don't need, and you get the energy high, but an even lower drop. It's bad. So consumers control the media. And that's happened in my lifetime. 2006, Web 2.0 came out, in came consumer change the advertising, change the marketing perspective on that profoundly. So, social media, social media commentary, people think it's a new thing, there's loads of social media gurus, which is quite amusing really, it's just, you know, people just kind of twittering away like it's like, um, like, I'm just getting out of fashion. You've got to have something really good to say. This is social media, 17,300 years ago, in the caves in France. This is the first bit of observational social media where people said, look what's going on down here. There's people, you know, there's um, bulls, and, and they, they talk about life. They showed it. It's been going for a long time. It's been going for a long time. You just have to make sure that your content is relevant and serves the right people at the right time. Otherwise, it's just noise. I'm covering lots of different topics, but I, I hope there's some interesting stuff in here. This is a trend, trend analysis. I believe in, uh, there's a, a principle called the Orwellian principle. It's the double-think principle. And what it means is you have to be able to hold opposing views at the same time and believe them. So, for example, would be um, we've never had so much conversation about fitness and well-being. There's never been so many people with gym memberships. We've never been such an obese nation. So it's a, it's an absolute kind of uh, you know poles apart or one principle. So people want to keep fit and healthy, but we're more obese than ever before. We've got so much technology because 35% of consumers would spend twice as much to save time. We are very time poor because we're actually being driven by technology. So we are in touch and communicating all the time because it's just too important and it's can't stop. And you want to be in. If you're not in, you're missing out. So you just kind of keep yourself connected all the time. So there's lots and lots of strong ones. There's 17 trends up here, loads of different stuff. Vigilante consumer I've talked about. There's a whole piece about being alive where you certainly get to an age and you suddenly realise the importance of, of aliveism, of, of wellness and well-being. And you, it, you change your whole value system. But it's not worth working 14-hour days and flogging yourself to bits because people tend to die. They get stressed. They get ill. You get to an age around 50 where the propensity of, of, of becoming unwell and illness is, is, is much heightened. And so aliveism is a big, strong trend that comes in. You can target people around that. Um, as is future tense uh, to the left of, of the, uh, the guide board, um, where people are just so overwhelmed by the future and by society, they don't know where they're going to be or what they're going to do or how they should navigate the world they live in or what grounds they should align themselves with. It's very, uh, very interesting stuff. This is worth, worth looking at uh, if, uh, if you get a higher res, instead of your high res bit version. This is, uh, this is trend, this is societal trends and themes mapped onto the tube map, so it's quite fun. Uh, but it's about 90%, over 90% accurate because it tracks over 15 years of trends. So it shows how people come in, 
um, uh, on sector along here, whether these are megatrends or not. It makes links um, between things like um, 